Hey Android fans, this is Eric from HollywoodFrodo.com with another Android app review. Today I'm going to be talking to you about uh, Weatherbug Elite, which is my personal favorite um, weather app. Before we get to that, just want to remind you that uh, this review is being sponsored by AndyTags.com, a great place on the internet to get really cool Android themed NFC tags and keychains stickers, all that good stuff for use with your NFC enabled Android phone. So head over to antitags.com and check those out. Um, anyway, Weatherbug Elite, there's not really a whole lot to say about an app like that because you know what it does. It's more about seeing it. Um, and they do have a, uh, they, they released an update uh, a couple of months ago or a few months ago where they did a complete overhaul of the uh, graphic user interface and that really took it to the next level and makes it look great. So let's hop on my phone and I'm going to show you the new look and also you know all the different features it has and why it's my favorite. Okay so uh, here we have Weatherbug Elite in my app drawer so I'm going to open that up for you guys so you can see it. Um, this is your home page when you go into Weatherbug Elite. Um, you've got your basic information at the top as far as temperature and wind, precipitation, if there are any weather alerts, they're right there. Uh, you have the forecast, and then you have the extended forecast. Um, you can access additional information quite easily by tapping any of these areas, and I'll show you that, um, as well as using the uh, menu row down at the bottom. Uh, you can also change your location. Right now I have it set to wherever I am, my location. Um, but if you want to, you can change that. So let's look at some of the, the user interface and how it works. Oh yeah, well it does support landscape mode, in case you were wondering. I have a tendency to, uh, when I pick up my phone, trigger that. Uh, so let's go, if you want to change your location, you just hit my location. Um, what's great is you have all your locations here. Uh, you can save different locations and you can also move them. So if you want to move that one there and you want to put this one up closer to the top really easy to move them around to whatever you want them to be uh, in addition to your location and then you can add a location just by clicking add location uh, if you want to get more detailed information about the current conditions you can hit anywhere in this area and it'll load up very detailed information about your current conditions Going back, uh, if there are any alerts, then all you have to do is click the little alert button that's there, and it'll take you into the alerts. Uh, if you want to know more about the Friday forecast, then you can hit that button, and you'll get more detailed information about each day's forecast. If you want even more detailed information than that, you just hit the day, and you can get an hour by hour detailed information. So everything you want, as much as you want to know, it is available. Now if you were to uh, hit the extended forecast, then it would take you right into a more general uh, extended forecast. And then if you wanted to more about the day, you would hit the day and it would take you to that more detailed and then even more detailed. So really easy to access the information you want and you can also do that using this bar down at the bottom uh, yes, current uh, conditions are showing there hit the next button it'll show you the extended forecast hit the next button you can get radar um, I live in Southern California so <laughs> there's not anything happening here it's bright sunny skies yay for us um, if you hit the play button it plays like an animated uh, radar but again there's nothing happening here so you can change the settings on this uh, to be weather layer satellite you can even have traffic um, alert boxes you can have it show lightning nearby so you can uh, change that the weather layer uh, you can change it from radar to US satellite world satellite temperature uh, humidity pressure let's change it to uh, temperature and then go back and now you see a temperature map so you can see it's uh, pretty uh, 
pretty cool the way it works uh, and all the different things you can you can see on here so you can see the temperatures they're not changing much right now but uh, anyway we're gonna stop that and go to the next one the next thing is uh, lifestyle forecast so you can see forecasts that pertain to certain things like if you wanted to go hiking you could click the the outdoor forecast and you could see um, important information that you would need to know for being outdoors which is kind of cool um, going to the next little menu button you have a live camera so this is live from a high school and uh, if you hit play then it plays like the last um, it's like a time lapse of like the last 30 minutes to an hour I believe and if you want you can change you hit this button and you can change to a different uh, uh, camera so you can go see the conditions in a, in a different local area and then the next button here is just the detailed information which again you can access from the home page just by pressing anywhere in the, today's current conditions uh, then you have the Weatherbug National Outlook. I'm not going to play this, but if you play it, it's basically like a little weather channel kind of news thing, except it's specifically Weatherbug. And it's uh, it's just national outlook. So if you wanted to, you know, just kind of see in general what the national weather is like, it's like a one minute thing that they do. And then if there are any alerts, you click the little alert button and you can see your alert alerts. And I think that's it. The last button is a question mark that just is information about the app. So going back to the uh, main screen, let's look at the menu options that are available. Uh, again, you can access your locations by pressing menu and pressing locations. Um, share is kind of cool. Uh, what share will do is it'll take basically a screenshot of that information that you're currently looking at and then allows you to share it. You can post it to Facebook or Google Plus or share it through any way you can share inside of uh, your phone depending on what apps you have. Um, you can refresh if you need to refresh if you feel it hasn't refreshed recently enough. Uh, and then uh, you can change to full screen which doesn't really do a whole lot but because it is mostly full screen. But you have that option and let's go into preferences because that's important to know. You can change your units, uh, you can change your wind units, um, you can choose your background refresh rate, so I have it refresh once an hour. Uh, now this is awesome, you can uh, have battery monitoring. So you can have it so that uh, when your battery gets to a lower level, it uh, uh, turns background updates off. So that way uh, it will use less of your battery. I don't find that this app uses much of my battery anyway, but uh, you know, especially if you had the refresh rate, like if you had it refreshing regularly, like every five minutes, then you might want to uh, activate the battery monitoring and have that change when your battery gets, you know, to 25 or 30 um, percent. Spark lightning alert. If you live in a thunderstorm area, that's kind of cool. Lets you know, uh, alerts you if there is lightning uh, happening near you, which means a storm is probably headed your way. Uh, enable your location. That just enables it to follow you uh, find your location and provide weather information based on your location. You can also choose a location service. So like for me, I don't have it use GPS. Um, I have it use uh, network because obviously that's uh, going to use a lot less battery than GPS and it's plenty accurate enough in terms of weather conditions. And then enable notification. If you want to receive information about severe weather, then you could check that and you would get notified uh, anytime there was severe weather. And then enable notification. I'm going to enable this so you can see this. And what that does, this isn't a uh, this is a different kind of uh, this isn't an alert notification. This is a constant notification uh, that is in your status bar. And we're going to just leave it with my location. And you can change the text bar color to either uh, blue, black, or white. We'll leave it blue. And so that's pretty much it. But let's now that we're out of here, you'll see which just popped up. There's 80 degrees is in the status bar, so the temperature will stay there uh, once that's been activated. And then when you pull down your bar, you'll see it has your weather conditions right there in your status bar. So some people might prefer that to say using a widget on their home screen. And then if you click that, it's just going to take you directly into the full app. Uh, now there are widgets that are available. I'm going to show those to you right now.
these are the four widgets that are available. You have a four day uh, uh, forecast, current weather, and then the next three days. You have a single day that's two by one. You have a single day that's one by one. And then you have a radar. Um, and these are all customizable uh, as far as the background. Uh, I set this one with no background and changed the text to orange. Then I set this one with uh, blue background and set the text to, I don't know, some light blue, holo blue kind of color. And then this one, I changed the background. It's still blue, but it's like a black and a blue and then text yellow. So you can customize the widgets. And you also have the weather forecast again because I'm in California. There's not really, it's Doppler radar, but, you know, there's not really anything happening in Southern California on the radar right now. Um, but that could be a, a cool one to have if you... Uh, if you live somewhere where things actually happen. Um, I did want to show you real quick for those of you who have a tablet, the tablet uh, interface. It is, uh, it's not much different, it's just, uh, but it is optimized as you can see. It does adjust the screen for the shape and size of the screen. Um, it has this, doesn't have any additional widgets though, the widgets are the same. You access everything just the same as you did on the phone. But uh, all your menu buttons are all available at once over here. You don't have to slide to find them because of the fact that there's obviously more screen real estate. So they're all right there for you. And uh, that is pretty much uh, all there is to Weatherbug. Like I said, it's my favorite. I think it looks great uh, since they redid it. Um, probably the best looking weather app um, all available for Android phones. So that was Weatherbug Elite. Um, as you can see, it looks awesome it just has a really great look to it it's very intuitive it's easy to access any of the information you want it's right there and uh, I think it's the best on the market so if uh, you're looking for a great weather app then head on over to Google Play and uh, pick up Weatherbug Elite if you like this review please click the like button uh, please share the review with your friends and your family and anyone else you want to share with you can do Facebook, Twitter, Google+. I'm sure within a couple of months there'll be another one you can use. But anyway, uh, share it with your friends. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, uh, complaints, etc., feel free to post them below. Anyway, until next time, this is Eric reminding you that your Android phone is only going to be as good as you make it.